world of Limbo, a place where the troubled souls wander in search of peace. And for many, it's the misfortune of losing oneself in the darkness of its corners. But within its habitants, habitants, habitants? A soul of bright nature who, while helping others, would find himself chasing down an answer to a simple question. Why is he here? I don't know. But let's not spoil the whole story. You should at least take a peek yourself. Let's get this shit, let's get this shit. Hey, what's up, Rise? Welcome in, buddy. Buddy. I try to say brother and buddy at the same time. <laughs> I love the music already. This is so cool. The game auto saves your progress. You can press escape to pause, manually save, and return to title screen. Okay. Well, let me raise it up a little bit on my end. Wake up. Oh, is that me? <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, I was just messing with my sound. Dang it. There we go. You will be lurking for now? Oh yeah, for sure. I just uh, finished my run of Toy Story, but I appreciate the good luck regardless. <laughs> this some Undertale Paper Mario. Yeah, dude, doesn't it look so sick? That's why I wanted to play it, because it's like it gave me like Super Paper Mario, like not Super Paper Mario, the Wii version, but it gave me like a lot of Paper Mario vibes because of the art style. And it's like the, the story is like super like uh, Pixar's Coco. With the Dia de los Muertos and stuff, so I'm like, oh, that's so sick. My freaking volume. There we go. What's this dude up to? Huh? You've been there for long? Not important. Good thing you're here. Could you give me a hand? An old lady. <laughs> it's kind of sus. They didn't want to give me their name. Culebra. Knocked you down into the chasm. It looks like you're tied up, lady. Not knocked down. <laughs> Stuck in the vines, yeah. Cut them. Okay. Roll while walking. Wait. Oh shit. Oh, this is so sick, dude. It like it feels like really smooth. Like the art style is really good too. That's sick. Oh. Oh, I see what it wants me to do. Dude, this is sick. Man, that's so unfortunate. The Kickstarter for it didn't get backed all the way. I backed it, but it was obviously one man's not enough. Wait, oh, okay. I was gonna say, it told me how to open up my inventory and I had already forgot. <coughs> I can't tell if they have like a beak.
Push the rock. Got it. Oh, lady bones. <laughs> Notebook. Oh, okay. So it's just like to remember all the characters and stuff. <laughs> the little animation. <laughs> Let's go in this unsuspecting, creepy face mouth cavern cave. <laughs> Surely nothing will go wrong here. Limbo? Oh, okay, we're in limbo. You see, the souls with unfinished business arrive here and land right at the core of their biggest regrets. It then becomes a maze from which they can escape, a spiral with many dark corners. But there's always an exit, one that they must find. No soul is exempt from this rule. And that includes you, Culebra. Something holds you to this place. Damn, what did I do in my living life to make me go into limbo? <laughs> Although it is uncommon, but I see hope in your eyes. I believe your soul brings light to this place. But ultimately, it's up to you to prove it. Bet. Looks like we're almost at the exit. <clears throat> the art still is really nice. I get the feeling that the answers you seek may lie in others. Call it a hunch. Be safe, Culebra. I'll be around. Okay, I suss this lady out, but she seems to be a good person. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Crow with the K. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Skinny, short, and dead. <laughs> <coughs> Whoa! Gaia Games! Look at that! Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Checking out your amazing game here. I'm like already like smitten by it. The art style and the music and all that jazz. Thank you for playing your game for sure. I backed the Kickstarter as well. I was super uh, like disappointed when like it didn't get um, backed all the way, but obviously it's nobody's fault. It's all good. Hopefully you guys still stick around with it and try to finish it. I was like purposely trying not to play the demo until I had time to play it on stream. And so like, I was like, okay, finally I got time today. But I've watched like all like the footage and like uh, kept up with the updates and all that. So I knew I would like it. If it happens, we'll come back stronger for sure. I'm playing, I'm doing my part and showing it to all my followers. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the screen, know if it's day, evening, or night. Time is precious around here, use it wisely. Guy liking it so far? Yeah, for sure. The old lady just met. Dead Valley, okay. Oh shit, jump scare. Doesn't strike twice in the same place? They totally say that, yeah. Plaza is the town over there in the mountains, got it. The view is great from up here. Too bad I don't have time to, to take a good look at it. But it's okay. I'll come back after work. <laughs> it's not feeling safe. 
All right, male crow. <laughs> I love when he does that. <laughs> All right, cool. Man, I just like I like just like moving around because the animations are so are like so good. How do you do the? Uh... I love this animation. It looks so freaking good. <laughs> Ooh, I see something potential over here. Hey, I saw that from the top and I was like, I bet you you can knock it down. We'll be cheering back here. Yeah, enjoy the lurk, Gaia Games. I appreciate it. Two pearls. Okay, I'm guessing that might be like the currency in the game. I wonder if Wacka is still in chat. He would love this game. He's a big Paper Mario enthusiast. Oh, this is where I came from. There's no way. Not me over here trying to come up with speedrun strats already. I'm like, oh, you can totally just uh, use this to maneuver. It's so much faster. But I keep running into the walls. You're at Dead Valley to the left, Mysterious Ruins to the right, leaving Dead Valley. Got it. Are those lips and lashes? Who yassified this pillar? <laughs> Only those who pay tribute shall be allowed within the sanctuary. You who wants to pay respects when twilight looms over the valley after finding a home for the flower of beginners. Knock twice at this door and listen closely to what it has to say. Only then will your debt be showed upon you at this tablet. Got it. So wait till time. Wait till it's nighttime, right? Yeah, wait till twilight. And then I got to do something with the flowers. And then I got to run into this thing twice to knock it. Got it. <laughs> it's so cute. Purr. <laughs> Doesn't this look like totally yassified? Like it's got the lips and the, uh, <laughs> the lashes. That's hella funny. That freaking term, Yassified, I keep seeing tweets about it, it's so funny. <laughs> the Winged Union is here to serve both of the living and the dead. Need help on your journey to the afterlife? Let us give you a hand. Need to pay rent next month? We're hiring! Oh shit, I should apply. <laughs> the joke, the joke. What would you like to read? Hmm. Oh, the flower. Roser's Flower Shop Grand Opening. We're the best flower to provide in the region. We have something for everyone, from absolute beginners to the most experienced gardeners. Be sure to pay a visit when you stay at Dead Valley. We're open all day. And that's all it says. <laughs> Dead Valley, quick guide to get you started. Named by people that did not know what a valley actually is, Dead Valley is not as barren as you may think. Be sure to check out and support your local business tourist attractions such as Rosas Flower Shop and the Talking Boulder. Please be advised, Dead Valley is known for its frequent rockfalls. Upon notice any of your signs of rockfall, take necessary precautions and steer clear from its path. Now go on and enjoy your stay at Dead Valley. Oh, and that's all it says. Well, there's one rock. All right, pearls. What are they for? Literally, I was thinking the same thing. Pearls are the official currency of the region. They're often found in twilight spaces or stuck somewhere out of reach. Sometimes they get stuck inside some containers. Pearls are also very shiny. It's possible to catch a glimpse of stray ones if you're paying attention. Okay, cool. So it is the currency. That's kind of cool that this game also has like a time feature. Like a little bit of like a like a Majora's Mask kind of. Like certain things only happen at night or in the morning and things like that. That's pretty cool. Yes. Oh, are these the prices? <laughs> if 
before I go up there, let me look for more pearls. Oh man, I wish this was the full game, dude. Like, <laughs> in the back of my head, I'm like, this is gonna end soon. That sucks. <laughs> Majora's Mask was your main inspiration for the game now that you mention it. Oh, no way. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the first thing that came to my head when I saw the uh, the time feature. I'm like, that totally reminds me of... Uh... Oh, there's no way I could use this to open it. I was like, that totally reminds me of Majora's Mask. You guys nail the paper craft uh, style like really well. Like the steps right here, like that's like chef's kiss, like perfect. The bench too even, that's really cool. Wet paint, please do not sit on this bench while the paint is drying. We apologize for any inconveniences may cause you. Dang, how long does paint take to dry? <laughs> Despite the Paper Mario looks, that's a very little relation with Paper Mario gameplay. Oh yeah, I know. Cause I, like I said, I watched the uh, like, progress of the game and i watched the trailer and all that it, i know it's more like an adventure game than like a turn based or anything like that but the art style is just like very reminiscent of it which is cool every game i've mentioned i love so like regardless of if it, the fact that it takes inspiration from multiple games that i like is even better actually instead of just being one oh that kind of sucks i can't even get over there i thought i was gonna fall on this side <laughs> Dang it. All right. Let's keep it going. We can grab it later. Another key. It's so simple. You could probably pry it open with something. Uh, I don't have anything. Oh, actually, maybe the scissors. Let's see. Dang it. Break. Wait, did I even try going inside? I didn't. Oh, cute. Hello there. Rosa. Rosa's flower shop. Her name's Flora. And the lady over there is Rosa. Okay. So Flora and Rosa. Your daughter here will help you with anything you need. Oh, she's a little old lady. Come and have a look at what we have for sale. And feel free to ask me any questions you may have. I like this, that uh, you can like keep track of the characters and stuff. And like a little bio about them. Oh, you like learn more stuff about them, I'm assuming? Is that what this is? That's pretty cool. So you can keep track of like where you are with uh, their progress or whatever. That's what I'm assuming. Oh damn, it goes... Okay, there's a lot of interactions. Okay. Oh yeah, see these are the two interactions I had with her. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's almost like keeping track of like your like a progress in the game, right? Seeing like which interactions you've gotten. Cool. Flower shop's named after me since I'm the owner. <laughs> Just because I'm a better manager. Your daughter Flora is way better at this. She's definitely the talented one here. Yeah, yeah, I got it. All from her. What? What? She got it from her what? She got it from her dad? Why did it get awkward? <laughs> As I was saying, she's the best gardener around here. So ask her about our flowers if you have any questions. Anything else you want to talk about? 
Are you curious about the flower I have? It's the Estrella flower. It requires a lot of effort and dedication to raise this beauty properly. I have to spend all day taking care of it. I wouldn't recommend it to you. Estrella would be too difficult for someone just getting started. But don't worry, I'm sure there are other flowers that would be a better fit for you. Anything else you want to talk about? This was locked. Okay. Look around as much as you want. All right, cool. The Estrella flower that's hella hard, apparently. <laughs> Something I can help you with? Ye. Okay, let's see. This is five pearls. I don't even have enough for that. A flower perfect for beginners. Doesn't need to be watered often. Can't even get that yet. Definitely can't get that. Okay, I need to go get that pearl that I broke, but I couldn't reach. I love that sound when you exit the conversation, this one. I love that. <laughs> cool. Is there anything I can smash in here? I like that the stuff reacts to you smacking it though. That's like a cool little detail. Like the stuff jumps around and things like that. I love that. The sounds are very bony overall. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. I was trying to think of a word for it because they're all pretty similar, and bony is definitely the word. <laughs> Don't go in there. Oh shit. Okay, my bad. But I need to get that pearl. All right, we'll just find another way to it. Me thinks I have to get up there, but I don't have a key to that yet. So can't break that. Oh God, it's almost dusk. And you're right, keeping the notes on the characters and getting to really know them is kind of the main dish of the game. Okay, cool, yeah, so that's like how you track your progress, right? So I'm curious, is there like a way to like complete the game without interacting with everybody? I'm like thinking like, this is just me being a speedrunner. I'm like, th there would be a any percent where you just complete the game, but you don't necessarily have to interact and get all the interactions with people versus like 100% where you would have to unlock all the interactions with every character. Super off topic, but you know. <laughs> 14 pearls in the Dead Valley? Okay, good to know. No one remains who spoke to a secret to awake it has been lost to time. Okay. It'll cut a few minutes off the run. Okay, so most characters you have to interact with to complete the game. Good to know. There has been numerous reports of a bird stealing goods and reselling them. Oh shit. Uh oh. I hope it wasn't the little bird that spoke to me earlier. Not crow. Oh, is this a talking boulder? <laughs> Purr. <laughs> the talking boulder. Legend says that this boulder is alive and capable of speech. Will you be the one to awaken it again from its deep slumber? <laughs> That's funny. If you hold forward, they can just like, he listens in. Maybe some weird super glitch you're not aware of. Oh, trust me, Gaia Games. If there is one, I will find it. Don't you worry. And then I guess I can just let you know so you can fix it and patch it out. <laughs> but maybe I'll tell you after I do it so that I can be the only one that has a record of it. <laughs> Do you guys have a Discord for this game? It's development at least. I follow you on Twitter, but there, I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, what? 
All right, cool. There's just three pearls back there. We'll take it. You'll turn it into a mechanic? Nice. There's going to be like a crazy like... Wait. Okay, I was going to say, can you jump in this game? Because that will just open up a whole new world. Because if you're able to jump, oh, best believe you're going to be able to get over certain boundaries <laughs> with the right maneuvers. <laughs> Oh, this one's locked tight. Okay. Well, hey, now I have enough for that plant, so I will get the cactus. Oh, I thought the game froze for a second. Ooh, I like how the town looks different too. Like, and the music changes. And people are outside? Okay, this is awesome. It totally is like Majora's Mask because like different time of the day, there's like different events that'll happen. Oh, you do have a Discord? Okay, nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll for sure join that after this. Good to see you again. Is there something I can do for you? What you doing? Just thinking. You wanted to get the dual love flower we have at this garden and put it for sale. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find the key to open the garden gate. If I had found it earlier today, I would have taken care of it during the day. I'm sure the key is somewhere still at home. You never leave it outside. It's no big deal. If I happen to find it tonight, I can always use it tomorrow. Anyways, is there something else you want to talk about? Oh, okay, so like I have to find the key in the, during the day before it becomes sundown so she can open it right now. Otherwise, if I find it now, she won't open it until tomorrow. Oh, this is very like... What was the town called in Majora's Mask? I can't even remember now. But it's very that. And you have the journal to keep track of it as well to keep track of all the events and what time they happen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. These are like the beds or campfires or whatever games use nowadays to skip time. You're pretty social there too, so feel free to talk about any questions or suggestions that come to mind. Hanging out and chatting is very welcome. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is Clock Town, you're totally right. Ikana Valley, okay. Yeah, I guess yeah, I know what you're talking about now. I didn't mean like it looks like Clock Town, but like the way that the residents react or like interact with each other in Clock Town, how they like only come out at certain times of the day and things like that. But yeah, it's very kind of valley as far as like the look. Wait. Oh. I still haven't found anything to open that. So, dang, I didn't have enough time to buy that pleb, the plant. Okay, I might just have to rest until tomorrow then. That's gonna be a time loss to my first ever speed run of this game. <laughs> first, first playthrough speed run. Okay, let's see what happens at night. Oh, cool! It has a cutscene. Uh, cutscene. Yeah, what's up, Izzy? You're downloading the demo right now. You're gonna play it soon. Yeah, dude. Doesn't it look amazing? That's so crazy. Like, like honestly, for a demo, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is a lot of content for a demo, which is really cool. That's cool that you that you downloaded though. I hope you like it. It's so far I'm having fun with it. Like I love all the little interactions and the art style and all that. Even the music is really good. Oh, check that out. Uh, top right or up there now. Where's the key? Where was it? Ah, she's not gonna say it.
Wait, did I get anything else? No, huh? Dang it. I also like that it has controller support as well, like right out, right out the gate. This is more convenient for me to just play like this with keyboard, but that's really cool that you can just play with the controller as well, even just for the demo. I low-key would probably play with the controller because that's what I'm used to, but I'm fine with playing on keyboard right now. It's not even like that bit difficult anyways. Okay, I might have to wait till morning now because the only thing I can think of that I can do is purchase the flower, but they're closed. Oh! Look at Gaia being supportive to streamers. We love to see it. Also, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't, I don't think it's Gala, right? It's Gaia. Okay, I need to... Yeah, after finding the flower. Okay. So I'm like trying to knock already, but... <laughs> That's so cool that you can like listen in on things by holding forward. Only certain things, right? Yeah, I can't do it to this. All right, let's sleep. I love the little sound effects, they're so good. I'm glad I decided to play this today because it's like the perfect de-stress after a freaking speed run. <laughs> Alright, you're right, uh, you're right? Okay. You don't mind the different pronunciations? Oh, okay, no worries, yeah. Kaka. How much of the game is here compared to how much there will be? Good question, I'm not too sure. Same with the word culebra. Oh, okay, so you don't mind how people say like culebra or culebra. Not everybody could roll their R's. Totally fair. Crow. Wait. Hold on. Is time repeating itself? Hold a freaking phone. <laughs> You still remember me? Oh, okay. So everybody relives the same day. Like Tom Hanks in Groundhog Day. This is Tom Hanks in Groundhog Day. But I'm Tom Hanks. Culebra is Tom Hanks. Got it. Okay. What's this game? It's called Culebra. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot the rest of the name. It's in the title. Hold on. Souls of Limbo. It's an indie game that I backed on uh, Kickstarter, um, and they have a they have a demo that came out on Steam that you can download for free. This is my first time playing through it because I wanted to save it for stream. A detective adventure. Oh, cool! That's the little, the little uh, what's the word? I can't think of it right now. The little punchline. It's like Groundhog Day, yeah. <laughs> I know that's a bad example, but for some reason that's the first thing that came to my mind because I love everything Tom Hanks. <laughs> oh, the curse of limbo, okay. Erasing all the souls, memories at the end of the day and whatnot. He says it so nonchalant, like, yeah, you know, everybody's souls, memories, they're just erased from time. Most souls around limbo forget everything they've done during the day. It's a part of the curse to forget things from the day before. It keeps them stuck in a loop. It usually requires a powerful emotions or actions to help them break from the loop. Something that leaves a mark on their soul. Also, souls are not the only thing around here that can be cursed. Some items can be bound to the soul too. Bounded items, they will return to the place where you found them at the end of the day. Just something I thought you would like to know. 
Oh, that's really cool. So, like, I probably have to, like, grab an item and use it before the day ends, or else it resets and I have to go get it again. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Culebra's voice actor could be Tom Hanks. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Culebra. I don't know. That was a bad Tom Hanks. I'm trying to do, like, I'm thinking, like, Woody in my head, but then I'm trying to think of how he talks as a normal person. It's really confusing me. <laughs> Wait. Uh, if you finished drying yesterday, it's a nice spot to wait at if you need to pass the time. Oh, okay, the bench, yeah. Yeah, gate's locked. What's your idea? The talking boulder? Yeah. The problem is I don't even know how to talk to it. Okay. Try talking to it the day during the evening, but it won't talk to me. <laughs> it won't talk to me. I also love like the Banjo Kazooie gibberish that everybody has. The rumor says that the boulder speaks and likes gifts. Okay, gifts. You gotta resume doing deliveries. All right, back to work. Um, that's all I got. Yeah, there's a snake in my boot. Oh, there literally could be a snake in his boot because, you know, bone snake. I get it. That's a good one. I've got a bone snake in my boot. Feather of the Union at your service. See ya. Okay, good to know. Good to know. This crow is very helpful. Dude, that whole Curse of Limbo mechanic is really cool. Like, that just, like, turned this from, like, a simple, like, uh, adventure, like, puzzle game to, like, okay, there's, like, strats involved. Like, you got to do this on this day and blah, blah, blah. That's really cool. Okay, well, now I have enough money to actually buy a plant, so let's do that. <laughs> She's going to announce herself again? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I want to watch Coco after this now. Like, <laughs> it makes me want to go watch Coco again. Okay, I could totally buy this. Let's go. Nuva. What? Two. Two more what? Sales? We're one step closer. I don't know if you read the signs outside. We're on a, oh yeah, it is, liquidation. <laughs> oh, cool. So I probably have to buy all their plants in one day for them to do their little realization or whatever their strong emotion still can't go back there yeah where do i plant this anyway oh I think I know. The boulder said it likes gifts, right? Oh, did I see something shiny over here? I totally freaking did, dude. I caught that so fast. Okay, let me give it to her, maybe. Oops, wrong one. No response, dang it. Do you think she'd like a pair of scissors? Nope. Where do I plant this? Hmm. 
Okay, let's find a spot to plant it. Ooh, how did I miss this? Nice. Wait, if a gate's locked, ask at Rosa's flower shop for assistance. I don't remember reading that. Also, <laughs> I missed these the first time. Um, unless I already grabbed this one and that's why it's not letting me pick anything up from the jar. I'm going to assume that's what happened. I probably just don't remember doing it. Okay. I really hope there's like a racing mini game in this where I just like use this the whole time because this is like really fun just to move around like this to be honest. Hmm. Maybe I can uh, interact with them again. There's a hint in Crow's notes. Let's see. Oh, he started talking to it during the day and evening, but not the twilight or whatever in the middle. We'll try that when it gets to that time. Um, oh, I can't ask her. Oh, wait, I can. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the lock was there last time, but it was grayed out. And this time it was yellow, which means I unlocked that interaction. Got it. I'm learning. Yeah, it totally told me to come over here. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? They don't know anything about it. Okay. What about her? <coughs> we can't help with opening the gate at the moment. Ask me tomorrow, but I can't because you're stuck in limbo. <laughs> Can't do that one yet. All right, all right. You're about to know the flower from Rose Flower Shop is one of the three flowers you need to sell before they move out. The flowers are sucking the plant, which means it doesn't need to be watered often. It's perfect for beginners. Oh. I don't think I have to plant it anywhere. I just have to buy them off of them, right? I think I messed up that. I, when I read the puzzle from over here, for some reason I thought I had to plant it. I think I just had to purchase it. Okay, so Twilight. After finding a home. Oh no, I do have to plant it. Finding a home for it. Knock twice at this door and then listen closely. Okay. So I do have to find, I feel like this does something. If not, then I think I just have to wait until, um, I think I have to wait until twilight and then try to talk to the boulder lady, the nice lady. I hope I don't have my times mixed up. Twilight means evening time, right? Not nighttime. 
I'm pretty sure this is twilight, right? Like sunset. Oh wait, it's over here. In this case, twilight is evening. Oh, okay, okay. I just want to make sure I had it right. Hmm. Really? Maybe. Maybe if I just plant it. Oops, wrong one. Dang it. Hmm. I probably don't have the right flower to give. She probably doesn't want this uh, cactus. So in that case. Let's try talking to her again. Dang it. <laughs> she probably wants that one. I need to get my hands on that one. Okay, I have the keys inside. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. If the key's inside, then it probably is in that room that I can't get into. But they're closed. Hmm. I need to find something small to open this. I feel like that's... This is where I need to go. Oops. Dang it. If you hold A, the text goes quicker. Oh, I didn't know that. Good to know. For when I accidentally click. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Gotta be something I'm missing. Pretty sure I've gotten all the items I can get. Uh oh, it's almost night time. Let me just try this again. Twice. Listen in. Nope. I wonder if I can give the plant to this one. I mean, this is just a pillar. It's not a boulder, though. Nope. Let's try talking to the boulder at night. The only thing I could think of is I'm probably missing an item somewhere to open up the locks. 
if I could just find that. Oh, ah, it was at night. Hello there, I don't think I've seen you before. I am the talking boulder, Rocco. At night, okay. Unlock the gate, please. <laughs> The voice of this rock reminds me of Chibi Robo. <laughs> I don't get many visitors, so that's why I want to ask you this. Could you get me a flower? Mm. I got you. Girl, I was trying to give you this earlier today. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like it. What the hell is this? A junk ball? There's a paper clip in it though. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> it's not much, but it's all I have. That's sick. All right, cool. Oh, there's task. I didn't even notice the task bar. Okay, cool. All right, so now. Aha. Uh -huh. There's two of them. Perfect. All right, now the ball starting to roll, guys. Or should I say boulder? Oops. Oh, it's a mini game. Skyrim lockpicking has nothing on this. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> That's so sick. Rock and roll. Literally, because the rock, the boulder, and then me rolling. My hairpin broke. Damn. Skyrim all over again. That was fun. I want to do it on this one now. Imagine if I just got this for tr first try, that'd be so br big brained. <laughs> oh, I'll gladly take those. Now I'm curious, like when the day resets, am I going to have to open these chests up again and this gate? Probably just the gate, right? We'll find out soon enough. Oh, let's listen in. Hell yeah, now I can actually hear. All right, what do you guys say? Would it be right to get closer and eavesdrop? Yes. Okay, first time that's worked. <laughs> How come you didn't notice, mom? I've been looking for it all day. I didn't realize I was sitting on it. Wow, she was sitting on it. Dang. Who's this bird? <laughs> Why is it so mad at me? Why does it look so, like, uh, sassy? <laughs> keep an eye on you. I'll keep an eye on you, bird. The heck? 
You're probably the bird that steals stuff. Yeah, it is. The sus bird. <laughs> Look at that freaking smug face. Kind of like it though. Seems like a fun character. All right, I think I might have to just go to sleep now. Or let me try this knocking thing. Oh, it has to be toilet. So I have to do it tomorrow. Okay. What's that button do? I'll show you. <laughs> Whoa. Welcome in, Kinchiago. And now you know what that button does. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Playing an indie game called Culebra. Souls of Limbo, I believe. Yeah, Souls of Limbo. I'm starting to remember the name. I'm really liking it so far. I love the art style, the music, the gameplay is very like puzzly, which I love. It's kind of almost like reminds me of like a, like a older point and click games where you have the items and you can combine them and figure out where to use them. I love that stuff. Oh, I met the talking boulder. <laughs> My legs are shaking. <laughs> what the heck? It's only awake when I'm away, then it's a lost cause. Get an autograph for him? <laughs> a lottery ticket? Write its signature on it? <laughs> First of all, how is a rock going to give you an autograph? <laughs> a white bird stalking others? Yeah, dude. Pika, his cousin. She's always doing shady stuff, getting into all sorts of trouble. She's wanted for scamming people. Nice. Eavesdropping or by herself counting her money? <laughs> That's funny. I bet you I can find her counting her money and freaking knock that tree down. <laughs> cool. Oh, we're making some good progress. Now I just need to figure out um, how to get the the lady to get up because she's sitting on the key. <laughs> Do I have enough for that? Try under Rosa. <laughs> oh, cool. She could just ask her. I thought I was going to have to come up with some way to get her off the chair. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> her face. She's like, oh. <laughs> Let's go. It's so cute. Oh, heck yeah. I wonder if that pearl's over here still that I dropped. 
I never got to grab it. Oh, it is. Nice. It was three of them, too. Dang. Hmm. What are you doing? They got the Duolift flower to sell at the store, but there are some vines that are getting a hold of it. You don't know where they came from. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that until now. Oh, I got scissors. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> Wait, they were hers? The animation for the cut. <laughs> wow, it didn't even work. Okay. My name's Culebra. Is Culebra a boy or a girl? I can't tell. Or neither, which is also fine. The vines are purple, so mix up the colors. Oh, dude. You know what's so funny, chat? This is literally the token in Construction Yard in Toy Story 2 where you have to combine the paint bucket colors. That's so funny. <laughs> Culebra's a boy? Oh, okay, cool, cool. I just want to make sure I wasn't saying the wrong thing when talking about him. I'll be working on the other plants while you take care of this. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks again for the help. Good luck. Dude, this is literally... Where are my Toy 2 people at? This is literally construction yard, the paint buckets. <laughs> so sick. All right. First... Combine. Hey! Toy Story 2 coming in clutch. I totally remembered how to make purple. <laughs> All right. Oh, she wants me to do Okay. You can do it, I guess. Wait. Okay. We need to neutralize it a bit. What does that even mean? Syrup extract from one of the trees. I need you to extract it with this. Oh shit. Tapping kit. All right. I know what this is. I've seen a, uh, um, what's it called? Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's bound to flora. Oh, okay. So this is one of those items where it disappears from your inventory at the end of the day. Good to know. That's cool that it actually tells you, so you don't have to remember. Like, wait, does this item disappear? It has a little icon, so that's good. A tree with an X on it. I think I remember seeing that tree. We need it done before evening. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Now I'm on the uh, freaking on a schedule I think the tree was over here no I think the tree was up here nope definitely not oh wait maybe yes it was cool Nice. The faucet is dripping. Do you want to stop? No, keep collecting. All right, so I'll just give that time until twilight, which is like the middle of the day, sunset. And it should be good. 
as long as it doesn't um, as long as the time doesn't go into nighttime, I should be fine. Oh, while I wait for that, I guess I can go do the autograph thing. Unless she won't talk to me because it's not daytime or nighttime. Yeah. Dang it. All right. Looks like we're skipping time, chat. Looks like we're sitting on a bench. Oh, I can't pass the evening. Wait. If I rest until evening, will that be technically passing the evening? Or is it as long as I don't get into nighttime? Maybe I mixed up the word, the wording when I read it. She'll leave. Ah, oh, shit. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Okay. See, in my head, I was thinking like, oh, as long as it's like still evening, but if it doesn't pass it, but I guess if it hits evening, she'll leave. That makes sense. Well, in that case, we'll just wait for the syrup. I'll give it to like oops, just before evening time, maybe. That'll be enough. Oh. Oh! I'm so dumb, dude. Well, not really, but I didn't realize I could just smack it to fill it up. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That helps too. I was literally gonna wait, just sit there and wait until the time, uh, until it was like almost evening and be like, oh yeah, it's gonna fill up by then. That's so funny. Wait, what? Oh, I think I have to like give it to her, right? You can either wait or smack it. Oh, okay, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, so like, uh, you like give both op both options. That's pretty smart. Like, I bet you like someone like me, they would have waited. I just accidentally hit the tree, so that worked out in my favor. <laughs> Speed run strat. Let's go. <laughs> Map chop it. Arg. Girl, that was your mom, I think. <laughs> what the heck? Yes. Yeah, go, go, go. You go do that, I'll do this. Everything's fine? Okay. She tripped and fell. Oh my god. She was worried about the more more about the plant. Okay. She'll be at the bridge this evening. Please don't be late. Got it. Oh my god, dude, it's so much to keep track of. I can't imagine like the full game with all these different interactions. Knowing me, I'm so bad with time, I'll forget, like, wait, when was I supposed to go? I know that you can just literally just check on the thing, but... Also, I wanted to try this the day before. No. Oh. I saw the X there, and I thought, it like, I can break the wall <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. Now we can hit the evening time. I'm doing great. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure like 
I was only I, I I would say I was only stuck in the beginning before I found out how to talk to the boulder. Other than that, it's been smooth sailing. I also saw you guys uh, retweeted my uh, going live tweet. I hella appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, so she said by the bridge. Here's the bridge. Yep. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, is this her leaving? I kind of don't want her to leave. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been here. Of course, glad. Yeah, thank you so much. Like I said, I super appreciate that. I'm very nice of you guys. I guess I've been feeling too busy to do so, and it doesn't help that I've had to come along these days. Mom doesn't like me here. Not anymore. Dude, what happened? I'm scared to find out. I'm like low-key scared to find out what happened. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Because of her dad. Bring out the tissue box. Thought I had one over here, but I guess not. <laughs> I was going to literally bring out the tissue box, but I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> He's the best gardener I've ever known, and probably the best there is. One of the very few plant whisperers. Oh, plant whisperer. Plant whisperer has the innate ability to listen to plants' inner voices and tell what they need exactly. And that is the only way to cultivate an estrella flower. In fact, the estrella we got for sale was cultivated by my dad. Oh, stop. And that's why her mom cares so much about the flower, because it was the last thing that her dad made for her for them or like the last thing he made or whatever worked on that's actually so sad <laughs> it's probably the last time she'll see this today when she sells it don't sell it why would you sell it <laughs> you're gonna make me cry she knows how to take care of it but she doesn't know how to grow it dang even if I can say that I owe most of my natural talents to my dad, everything else I've learned is because of mom and my own. He left us when I was very young. I still remember that night. He and I wanted to leave the house to look for better grounds near the town, but mom didn't seem to like that idea. She kept coming up with what he would call excuses. She's very attached to this place. They would often argue about that, but that night it was worse than usual. Uh-oh. My dad got so angry he walked out the door. He would often do that after an argument, but just to come back later like nothing happened. But that night he didn't come back. Bruh. <laughs> he had the key to the gate. The one that leads out of the dead, dead valley. My dad and the key disappeared the night he left, so we just had to piece it together. Damn. Mom, being the stubborn woman that she is, doubled down on her pride. But I know he hurt her like no one ever will. After that, Mom had a change of mind. Maybe it was just the fear of losing me as well, but she agreed to leave this place with me, but only after we saw every flower remaining. And I simply agreed for my dad. That's actually so depressing. <laughs> I kind of understand that those who you love are the ones that can hurt you the most. But I thought he at least loved us too. And what hurts me the most is that even if I can't see why he'd leave without even a goodbye, Maybe he didn't want to leave. Maybe something happened and he died, like an accident. Like he got ran over or something crazy. Or fell off a cliff. A part of me understands his frustrations and why he'd want to leave. Sometimes even if I want to leave too. But I am not like him. I'm not a coward. I will sell every flower remaining in our shop. And I will leave with mom, as I promised her. Awkward. <laughs> She got carried away. It's okay. Things are changing for the good. This will be over soon. We'll soon move to a better place. And this was partially thanks to you. Partially? This is why I want to give you this. Oh, shoot. I just get it right out the gate. I didn't even have to buy it. Okay. You earned it. Dual lives in the right hands. Thank you for listening, Culebra. I will not forget your kindness. Oh. 
Oh, what's that? I'm getting late and I need to prepare for some things tomorrow. Have a good evening. All right, we got a soul mark. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's something important. Getting a little lost in the game is bound to happen. The game allows the player to explore within the day. So some wandering around to put things together is expected, part of the charm. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Like, it gives you a pretty decent amount of time throughout the day before it changes to like twilight or nighttime and all that. So it's not too bad, honestly. Like, like you literally find out what, like, oh, okay, I should have done this, and you can just do it the next day. And it's cool that you don't have to wait until the end of the day because you can just sit on the bench. So that's kind of cool too. Like if you don't want to wait or whatever, or if you already figured it out and you can just want to skip over to the next day. Cool. That was good. Oh, now I can give the that flower to the boulder, but I might have to wait till nighttime. I wonder if I could just plant it, or do I have to wait for it to be awake? Or him? I couldn't remember. I think the bird called it a him. Yeah, I have to wait. Oops. All right. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. This game's really cool. I would highly recommend everybody that has access to Steam to download the demo because it's free and it's really fun. So definitely something to look into. Oops. Got something for you. Oh, the rock doesn't remember me either. Dang. <clears throat> it's like, yeah, I already gave you a flower. Perfect. There's a letter attached to it. Oh god, I didn't know that. Thank you for the help, Culebra. This is the second to last flower we have, and I think you deserve it. Wish you the best, Flora. You know about the Estrella flower, don't you? It has to be the last one they have for sale. Sorry, but I needed to get the Estrella for me. I know, I know. I know what I'm asking for, but... You must know I can't pass this opportunity. These flowers are like a family. They need to be together. I think they miss their sister Estrella, and if you help them, then I won't feel alone, and I won't bother you again next time, I swear. <laughs> Besides, I won't be sending you to do this by yourself. They won't be giving that flower to just about anybody. This is what we'll do. First, I'll need you to take this hat. You can use it as proof that you're an experienced gardener. All right. After you grab it, tell all you need. Tell I'll tell you all you need to know on how to care for the estrella. And they may ask you a few questions to make sure you're an authentic gardener, so you need to be prepared. I'm very thankful for what you've done for me. Please forgive me for making you go through this. I won't forget this. I promise on all I have left. Good going, Rocco. I have a theory right now in my head. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, the autograph. I forgot about that. Sure, I can do that. Oops, I forgot to hit the... Uh... 
I have a theory in going on right now in my head about this character, but I'm not gonna say it just in case it's true and I end up spoiling it for myself. So I'm just not gonna bring it up anymore. <laughs> but let's see if I'm true. If I'm right when it happens, then I'll I'll say that's what I was thinking. But if not, then then no. Slip it under the boulder, what the heck? It's got hands down there, what the heck? That's funny. Oh, this freaking bird, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, dude. Do I have an idea where it could be? Um, yeah, I got an idea. It's on a tree somewhere, probably. Counting its money. Like a freaking scammer that it is. Let's see if I can find it. Oh. Get down. Why are you mad? You're the one who stole it from me. What the heck? <laughs> Pay you for it. Is this gonna be our first fight? <laughs> you call me a noodle? Yeah, get out of here, bird. Cool, I got a, a green one. The hat is back. Wait, what? They're talking about something else now. That was a speedrunner power move. Yeah, for real, right? I knew exactly where to go. Okay, let's listen in now. What happened to the dual of flower in the garden? I thought you were going to get it and put it for sale. Oh, that. Um, I sold it to Culebra. He was a snake that passed by our store earlier today. I see. Then where are the pearls, girl? <laughs> um, I mean, I used them to buy a new pair of scissors to replace the old ones I lost. Oh, she's good at lying. <laughs> it's all right. You need to buy things for yourself every once in a while. It's getting late. I should be going to bed. Am I the only one who wonders if he will ever come back? <gasps> I don't know what Seed was thinking. Wait, his name was Seed? Let's go to bed. Good night. Damn. Crazy. Drama. The tea is hot. Um, I th think I can do this now. Dang it. I keep forgetting. Is it supposed to be at night or twilight? Twilight. Ah, I missed it. Uh, I must have missed it. Freaking! Oops, I must have missed it when I um when it was twilight on this day. Unless it was the same time that it was twilight while I was talking to uh dang I forgot her name already. With the girl on the bridge, I don't think I was able to go over there at the same time. The tea's hot. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like I'm just like I feel like I'm just like being like hello like cheese moss or whatever like just listening in on them <laughs> this freaking snake being a little snaky got nothing new to report today so i'm just passing by to say hi is there something you want to talk about before i head off pika yep
Oh yeah, I got the autograph for you. I got you, bro. <laughs> Why is he a talking boulder stand? That's so random. <laughs> I know it doesn't cover half of what I owe you, but this is all I can give you. Yo, five pearls. Damn, I got 22? Let's go. <clears throat> I gotta show it off the guys. Still got some time left. Now nah, we're good. That would be a good emote. It's kind of like the cheer emote that everybody uses on Twitch um, when you, with the confetti. It's kind of cool. Sell me that last flower. <laughs> Hello? You do have an emoji of it? Oh, sweet. It's. A, I'm assuming it's in the Discord, right? I was going to say, that would make a perfect little emo thing. Yep, okay, cool. I'll have to check it out. Definitely going in there after this stream. It's, oh, I totally forgot. I should probably put this on. I'm a plant whisperer. Yep. <coughs> to, to not overshadow you with your incredible skills. Yeah, that's totally what I was doing. You're so cool yet so humble. There's no other explanation. That hat you have is legit. I don't mean to doubt your expertise, but as you know, there's something else you need to do to be able to buy Estrella. You need to go through a test to see if you can take proper care of it, but I'm sure it'll be a piece of cake for someone at your level. Oh man, was I supposed to have uh, talked to the boulder and see what the questions were? Let's see if I can do it. What's the proper place to raise Estrella? Dang it! I don't know. From where it sprouted, near where it sprouted, in an arid region. I'm gonna say near. Which one of these is necessary for Estrella? High quality mulch, moonlight every night, sunlight every day. Probably the mulch, because this lady never takes her estrella plant out. What estrella needs to have nearby? Light, nothing, someone to keep company? Probably that one. Dang it! I wonder if I'm supposed to talk to somebody to find out or if I can literally just uh, it'd be a smoother ride if you talk to Rocco okay that's what I thought yeah one more try if I get this right that'd be sick Dang it. All right, all right. I will talk to Rocco. Wait, I can just tell her herself. <laughs> oh, it doesn't do anything. anything I could do with this okay and I'm assuming I can't go back here yet nope all right well at least I know I can buy it now I just have to um, uh, what's it called get the questionnaire 
so in that case I don't have anything to do in the morning so we'll switch to twilight I mean evening and then we'll try to open up that uh, sanctuary place or whatever it's called and then at night we'll talk to Rocco sounds like a plan all right break what one oh I just missed the first time <laughs> I thought I did, that's why I wanted to try one more time. Oh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to look like that, to be honest. <laughs> Don't know what that did, but... Let's see. The day is warmest, so in the morning, or the day. After leaving your mark on someone's soul from this tablet, to the talking boulder with non-stop spinning. This is your debt. Okay. So I have to wait till daytime. So daytime, after I leaving a mark on someone's soul, which I already have, from this tablet to the talking boulder with non-stop spinning. So I literally have to go from here, like this. Oh, good thing I'm really good at this already, right? I'm actually like really good at this because this is how I've been maneuvering this whole time. I just go all the way over here. Bam. Oh, it teleported over here too. Anyways, I can't do it right now because it has to be daytime. Okay. That was cool. So, fast forward again. Also, why is there like a giant telescope on that town over there? You kind of see it from this angle. Weird. Hopefully we have, we're able to find out. I'm not sure how far this demo will take us. I got the rolling skills exactly. It's like I knew that was going to be a challenge, huh? I've been practicing since the beginning of the game. I was just saying that earlier too. I was like, I hope there's like a racing mini game where you have to um, be in the spinning like this for the, throughout the whole time or something like that. Let me know. You can only survive in the same region where it's sprouted. Okay, so in the same area. Has to stay in Dead Valley. Second, Estrella needs constant company. I already knew that one because the lady already is like always holding on to it or whatever. And lastly, Estrella needs to receive direct moonlight every night. Okay, so it does need moonlight. That's the one I was getting wrong. Leaving it near a window at night should be enough. Estrella doesn't care about sunlight. <laughs> Where did I learn all this? Well, hmm. I learned all this from a plant whisperer a long time ago. An experienced gardener that used to live around Dead Valley. Okay. So here was my theory, and I was like half right. For some reason, I thought this rock... Not that the rock was the dad, but that the rock... Or that the dad, like, died under it or something. Like, he got squished by it or something like that. And so, um... Like the rock knows about it because he's like dead under him, so he just talks to him. I'm assuming, but it doesn't look like that's it. It looks like he would just talk, come over here and talk to the rock. Yeah, see, so he would come. 
Oh, the hat was his. Imagine that, like, M. Night Shyamalan twist, though, that the dad is, like, under the rock this whole time. Like, he just got squished by it. Because you know how, like, the boulders fall? Oh, what the heck? Hey, Culebra. I just want to let you know that, by the way, things are looking. You may have to face a challenge soon. Uh-oh. I'll be around, but please be careful. Super mysterious. Very foreshadowing. Okay. Well, now I know all I need to know to buy that flower. But before I go and do the flower thing, I'm going to do the rolling challenge. I always forget this bird comes talk to you every day. I wonder why I need so many pearls, because I think, isn't it only cost 15? I have like 22 pearls. <laughs> so good no dang it <laughs> i jinxed it <laughs> immediately after saying so far so good all right, all right all right all right let's try again i don't know if i have to like uh interact with the tablet again but i just did it anyways just in case That was kind of close right there. No! Oh my god. I'm throwing. I'm freaking throwing. This is the this is the run killer right here, guys. <laughs> okay, third time's the charm. It's okay, I got it, don't worry. Like I said, I've been practicing- No! <laughs> Same spot! I've been practicing the whole game for this. For this one moment. This is my time to shine. What's kind of annoying is that I literally did it during the night, like during nighttime or evening or whatever it was. First try, and now I can't seem to do it. Watch me waste uh, the whole day. I'm trying to do it and then I have to uh, freaking time skip again. Nah, I could do it. You just gotta believe. Easy clap. Alright. Easy clap. Um, okay, so now we will, oh, I'm getting a little frame rate issue. Uh-oh. So now we can go into the store. Did I already forget the answer to the questions? From where it sprouted. 
Moonlight. So I'm gonna keep company. Pretty sure that was it. What? Maybe I messed up the first question. I think it's this one because these que these answers are pretty similar. So I think I'm just confusing them, like the wording or whatever. There we go. Yeah, yeah. The phrasing on those two questions are pretty similar, so that's why it, it can be kind of confusing. No surprises here. You're obviously more than ready to care for Estrella. I just need the pearls and we can close a deal. All my money. Hey, we did it. We've sold Estrella and all the other flowers. We're done, mom. We can finally leave. Give Estrella a culebra, mom. We can then start packing up. Uh oh. She's not going to want to give it up. Watch. Bruh. <laughs> Why did she look like that? <coughs> Estrella, already? Give me a second, I'll be right there. I don't want to take this from the old lady. Whoa, what was with the light flickering? Was that supposed to happen? It is. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> scary! Not the boss fight, Espinas. Her dark form. Scrick! <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, a boss fight. I was not prepared for this. <laughs> it's me, the old lady. Please listen carefully. Oh shit, she's here. Rosa is refusing to move on. She lost control and the darkness in her heart transformed her into a dark form, Espinas. Oh, that's so sick. And it's only going to get worse if you don't do something about it. You have to confront her to help her come back from her senses. She'll challenge you with all sorts of questions. You must not give the wrong answer. Or else she'll drag you further into the darkness. Don't let her darkness take over. Use the notebook if you're having trouble remembering some details. Oh, it's an open book test? Nice. Just keep calm and think before you act. I know you can do this, Culebra. <laughs> The music is sick too. Couldn't even tell me what a good beginner's flower. I know. The Nuva. I don't even need to open my notes. Big deal. You know what the most basic thing about flower is? Congratulations. So condescending. All right, let's make it a bit harder then. Tell me this. Do you even know why Nuva is so popular among beginners? Yeah. Because it's a succulent. That means you don't have to water it. You know a bit about one flower, big deal. You can always check your notebook, but watch out for the darkness. Oh yeah, I did notice that it went up <laughs> when I was trying to pick an answer right now. So you can cheese it by like checking your notebook, but then the time goes or the darkness goes up, so you can't take forever. It's scary. You're probably just repeating stuff you overheard. Let's see if you know what you're talking about. Yo, Deviant! Buddy! You're leaving for work? Just wishing me good luck with the stream? Thank you, dude. We did a run of Toy Story 2 earlier. Um, I know PB, but it was, a, it was a good time. A lot of practice, so that was nice. And now we're playing this demo, and we got the developers in here too, which is really nice. I'm really enjoying this game, actually. It's super cool. Hopefully you can catch some of it. If not, you can always catch the VOD as well. Appreciate you stopping by though. Culebra, there's something else you need to know. Yeah, sounds good, man. Espinas may try to fool you by asking you a trick question with no correct answer. What? That's cheating. If she's asking you a trick question, you'll have to refute her question. I believe in you. Use your light. I said I'm the one in command here. Pay attention to me. Let's see if you can tell me from which flower you can extract syrup. 
What? That's not a thing. You freaking scammer. <laughs> Cut the trick question. The syrup extract comes from trees, not flowers. I'm sure you're a fraud. You can't possibly be a plant whisperer. I know I've seen the hat before, but first, here's a question only you should know how to answer. What should you do after giving a strega its required daily hour of sunlight? Daily hour of sunlight? Bolshevik! No, there's no way you caught that one. I know I've seen that hat before. It belonged to... No, it can't be. No, 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 get out of here. Leave us alone. We don't need him anymore. Oh, God. She surrounded herself in black vines. Oh. Oh, my God, dude, the darkness is going up. That's so broken. Black vines are blocking your way. All right, well, here's red. Girl. Oh, scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She hasn't changed at all. She lied to me. Nevertheless, we have to help her. Canning on you, Culebra. Mommy. Wait, how do I make... All I have is red. I need more colors. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Does red and oops. Does red and blue make black? Purple. Hmm. Dang it. That's what I thought. Hmm. Oh, it's back here. Okay, so this will make black. Yep. This is sick. All right. Oops, no, wrong ones. There we go. <laughs> that hurt her? That's funny. Nice. Nice. Alright, round two. Round two, fight! We don't need your stupid help. What makes you think that we do? What makes you think that you do? You want to sell Estrella? Flora wants to leave? Oh, that was right. Okay, cool. You think you can come here and tell me what my own daughter wants? I know her better than anyone else. She's always with me. Where would you even get a chance to hear that from Flora? At the bridge, girl. I was there. <laughs> she was there. I know what's good for her. I'm the only one who knows what's best for her. You say I don't know what she wants, yet you're here telling me what you think she wants? If she really wants to leave, then tell me. Why hasn't Flora left by now? She doesn't want to leave you? Oh god, all of these are correct. Okay, that works. I feel like all of those were correct answers. She doesn't want to leave me? You mean, I see, Florida doesn't want to leave me. She would not hurt me like that. No, she wouldn't do the same as her daddy. I don't remember, I can't remember. What, what was his name? His name was Seed, I remember that. Jose. <laughs> I Culebra, you're almost there. Espino's starting to get back to her senses. I know that doesn't make sense now, but you must use your light to clear the darkness. Just concentrate and put your heart into it. Okay, is this a mashing thing? Because I got that on lock. Dude, it is. I was like, if this is mashing, easy clap. I bet you I can get world record on that mashing. <laughs> that was cool. Dang, 
she freaking messed this whole place up. Successfully matched. Yeah, I've played a lot of Mario Party, so my mashing skills are top notch. Doors locked. I literally never found a key the whole time I was playing, by the way. <laughs> so many locks and I didn't find a single key. Oh, speaking of keys. Mom has removed dad's picture from the wall as I guess that is her attempt to forget about him, but I still see him. All the remaining pictures on the wall were shot by him. Dang, he took all the pictures. To me, it's like looking back at the past through his eyes. I know it's hard, Mom, but your attempt to forget him hasn't worked. Not for me. He's still here in every corner of this house. Dad, know that I'll never understand why you've left us. Mom sure had her issues. I wanted to leave too. But we were always there for you, and as much as I resent you, know that I'm willing to forget what happened and start over. If you ever get to read this, know that I'm tired and I miss you. But most importantly, even if we don't ever see each other again, know that I forgive you. Your daughter, Flora. Oh, You got a Rosas key. What is that little plushy doll on her bed? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to press that. I'm trying to open this. Oh, it doesn't look like you can. All right. What the heck? Why is there a little shadow right here? That's supposed to be there? I like how this looks. Oh, she's sad. I don't want to take the flower from her. What the heck? I'm so cold. Just leave me alone. I can't give you Estrella. It's the last piece I got remaining of him. I miss C so much. Please don't take it from me. I don't want to, but let's go. I'm like trying to roll. I'm like, hurry up. <laughs> Where is this taking us? Oh god, am I doing the thing? I've been doing this for so long, Culebra. I just wanted to end. Am I literally helping her cross over right now to the afterlife? Feels like it. Get your tissues, chat. Damn. And days and days and days went by. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. And months turned into years. Jesus. It wasn't supposed to end like this. I was too afraid to lose all we have had here, to change, to lose you both. See, the day you left, I didn't allow myself to forgive you. That's the day I really started dying. Damn, that cut deep. I let my fear kill me. I've hurt you both. I don't care anymore. We can move out of this place. I'm sorry. Huh? Seed, Flora. Go, girl. I'm afraid of what's there, Culebra. 
of what awaits me once I go. Regardless, I must go. It's time for me to stop waiting and start looking, looking for him. I know he's waiting for us somewhere. I don't think I'll need this anymore. Culebra, thank you. Oh my, my back really hurts today. Since when does it hurt so bad? Yeah, girl, you're just really tired. Go lay down, girl. <laughs> Damn. So sad. The heck, Gaia Games. You're gonna make the whole club cry right now. <laughs> you got the Estrella flower. I thought this was just a funny bony snake game. <laughs> Who knew I'd be hit with the feels? No one has been in this room for a long time. Wow. A while after the fight with dad, she started sleeping on her rocking chair. And with that, her back pain started. I believe a part of her was waiting for the day to see dad come back through the front door for it to be nothing but a small argument. After all, that's what they used to do after they argued until the day dad didn't return. She got stuck waiting, not allowing herself to rest. I know she was afraid of coming back to this room alone. Damn. Oh, she left all the pictures up with him in here. So this is where dad's photos ended. I guess she wasn't hiding them after all. Mom, I miss just you. I come to terms with the fact that I will never quite understand those two, but I can still love them as they are. Yeah, there's plenty of space in my heart for that. Culebra. I believe it's my turn to move on. I fulfilled my promise, and I'm afraid I don't have much time left to thank you. <laughs> the way she hugs him. But know that you'll always, I'll always be grateful for you. Thank you. Oh, Rosa. Now the whole family can be together in the afterlife. That was good. Oops, sorry. Smack my mic. Wait, did I miss some interactions? No, I totally did. What the heck? Take this camera. New. No. All right. Damn, look at the house. That's crazy. You didn't miss any, I think. There are empty spaces not meant to be filled. Oh, okay, okay. I was worried for a second that I missed some like extra dialogue so this is what the place really looked like dilapidated is that the word I'm trying to make things work here but if your mom is not here anymore why do I still hold to my promise to this place I guess I'm afraid to make the same mistake dad did to be the same person as him. Mom, I know I argued quite a few times, but I got the stubborn part from you, and you can be proud of that. <laughs> I just regret having to lose you to see things better, but to wish to make things right. Mom, I will fulfill my promise. I swear I'll sell and find a good place for these remaining flowers. Even if the line gets drier, even if this place wears the house down, even if it wears me down too. Well, I mean, she did. She did what she set out to do. She sold the flowers, technically. I mean, technically she didn't sell the last two, but she got rid of them at least. Dang, just like that, huh? Oh, that's so crazy. Like, the whole place is just, like, different now. It's all destroyed, like... All overgrown and broken. I 
I wonder. I never figured out what this area did over here. I wonder if I can go in there now. Oh, now I have to wait for nighttime. When the moon shines over the valley after the curse has left this valley, which I did, cut the invisible line located on top of the door. Invisible line on top of the door. Invisible line, like here? Well, night, I have to wait till nighttime anyway. What about Rocco? I haven't helped out Rocco. Unless, yeah, I have to give them the flower. Do I have it in my inventory? I didn't even check. Oh, I do, cool. You did it! You got Estrella! So thankful for this Gulebra. These flowers are now together like a family. Estrella was the last one missing. Well, you probably figured it out by now, but the truth is... WAIT! I was right?! The Rock is the dad! Bruh! I thought it said that it would visit him. Unless he was obviously the Rock was just lying. So I was right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bruh. <laughs> Have you been watching the whole the whole story? <laughs> One night after I had a terrible argument with Rosa, I got so angry that I walked straight out of the house. Whenever we argued, I would come here. This area was sort of my secret place to meditate and recollect my thoughts, and that's exactly what I did that night. You came back a little while ago? Oh, okay. I don't know if you were here for the tearjerker with the family. I literally made them cross over to the afterlife. It was pretty crazy. This area was sort of my secret place to meditate and recollect my thoughts. That was exactly what I did that night. But just as I was getting ready to go back home. Don't freaking tell me, dude. The rock fell on him. I knew it. I freaking knew it. A boulder fell over me, and just like that I died. I freaking knew it, dude. Just to find myself trapped under this boulder, not by its weight, but the weight of my guilt. <laughs> oh, shit. And even though you could say I was not guilty of our misfortune, their sadness weighs down on my shoulders. Gaia, I bet you guys are just, like, laughing to yourselves when I called it, like, 30 minutes ago, or whenever that was. It was my responsibility. I needed them to be free, and I wouldn't rest until I've helped them. Oh, that's so good. So he was, like, helping them move over by do taking the flowers from them. And you have just granted me that. I'm sorry I've hidden this from you, but I had to make sure they never find out I was the one getting the flowers. Rosa would have never budged to leave this place if she knew I was behind this. True. But size, they could have resented me. I've already come to terms with the fact that I may never be forgiven for my absence, regardless of what happened. No, bro, she forgives you. I read the letter. I wish I could give it to him. I needed this plan to work for them. And regarding my trick to open the door, it's just the gate key. I had it with me the night of my accident. I didn't even know it was in my pocket. <laughs> Your guess was way too accurate. Seriously, huh? I swear I haven't played this yet. This is my first time playing it, <laughs> honestly. I assume they think I just left with it. Well, like Rocco said, he was like, I'm sure you know already. So like you guys like set it up for us to figure it out. Again, I'm sorry to have lied to you. 
please understand that it was for the sake of them. It's all good, bro. I understand. Please, plant a stay in front of me. I got you, bro. There's one thing I didn't lie to you about. These flowers need to be together. They're happy as a family. And Estrella was the last one missing. Finally, everything is in place. And now to fulfill my promise, here's the gate key. <laughs> the way his eyes lit up. Nice. I feel so light. Thank you for everything, Culebra, and farewell. Wait. Okay, I was going to say, is he going away too, right? <laughs> Oh, we didn't get to see him actually disappear, though, because he's under the rock. That's kind of funny. He's not there anymore. You're the first one throwing the rock slam theory at the start. Oh, really? I don't know. I think because, like, I, re I, like, randomly remember little details, and I remember the bird talking about how just rocks will just randomly fall down at you. And then I think one of the signs mentions it again. And so when I saw the rock just being right there, I'm like, hmm... Cause like I was, I refuse to believe that you guys made a deadbeat father character. I'm like, there's no way he would just leave his family. So I'm like, he had to have like something had to have happened to him, and then I just pieced it together from there. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do this now. Wait, what? when the moon shines over the valley after the curse has been left the valley it's not a dead beat friendly game that's what i'm saying like there's no way you guys would have done that <laughs> like why would you make such a bad character so i'm like no something happened to this poor man we have to find out what cut the invisible line located on top of the door okay that makes more sense on top of the door. Up here. Like this? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh god, I, I can't get used to that. <laughs> cool. Not really sure what's in here. I feel like this is extra because I don't think this area was necessary for me to do everything that I did. This is giving me like major thousand year door vibes like in the sewers <laughs> where the thousand year door opens up. <laughs> the truth will be shown to those who find the light within the sanctuary. Did I find it? The key? No. I knew it. I'm like, why is that vase so shiny? It is pretty extra. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, I think this is like, uh, yeah, because I was thinking like everything I did for this area of the game, it wasn't necessarily like required to save those people. So I'm like, oh, it's like a bonus area, right? That's cool, I was able to find the bonus area. Okay, let's see, put this here. Mysterious gem, oh shoot. Something appeared on the tablet. That face is scary. Read it. This is the word of the wise demons. Ultimately, all of our attempts to stop her have failed. The unstoppable force of nature was hunting us by the thousands. But whoever reads this must know that we have drove ourselves to our end. It is the response of the innocents we exploited, as it came to as it came as the answers to a cry. Oh. We believe darkness ruled over all things, but we were nothing but fools. Those who walked our path will only meet mother. Huh? Something that can only be described as punishment. The few of us who remain have come to our understand have come to understand that this is payment for our actions. Therefore, let our remaining structure be proof of our existence and our mistakes, since our souls will not remain. 
Our last efforts are nothing but a warning. Fear it. Fear what is referred as mother. Damn. So that's the main villain of the game, right? And that's very antagonist like. And look at this freaking uh, painting here. Are these little spirits or like little demons? That's actually crazy. I don't know what the point of removing it is. I'm just gonna leave it in there. That's cool. This is like a little extra bit of lore, right? I like that. So the darkness is mother or the mother creates the darkness, I'm assuming. That's gonna be really interesting to find out. Did I beat everything? I did. Wait a minute. Oh, the crow. Just some extra lore, yeah. And we'll let your imagination guess what's the deal with mother. Yeah, I've already, hey, I'm pretty good with my theory so far. So I think I got a good theory going. <laughs> I'm not gonna say though. As you search for your purpose, you've managed to bring light into the heart of others. Your mission is one of love and I know it is in your nature to help others, but no good deed goes unpunished. Uh-oh. Lately, the dark souls in limbo have been more common than ever. And I believe this is no coincidence. Someone very powerful is making this happen, and I don't know why. Scary man, but I think that whoever is behind this has noticed your actions. A spooky skeleton. Culebra, please be careful. Whoa! To be continued! Can I get some claps in the chat? <laughs> that was 